time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live. Wednesday, April 10th, post CPI, post FOMC minutes, a little bit of a wild ride, but uh, fairly, let's see, we had a high after the open of 78, low of 38, so 40 point range, not too shabby, VIX almost still up 16, just under 16, S&P down 55, NASDAQ down 175. Russell down 63, Dow down almost 500. Gold, red, silver, green, notes and bonds lower, 10-year yield up four and a quarter, up at 4.54. Oil up 1%, natural gas up a little bit, grains mixed. Euro in the pound down a percent, US dollar strong. Bitcoin slightly green. I, uh, let's see, what have I done so far today in one account, uh, got stopped out of my 945 ratio. Uh, my O2 call calendar was a nice win. My rut hedge is going to be a nice win. My one DTE is up 17% in this account. My NDX is nice and centered, did a re-entry one-to-one in this account up about 1900 and then the rut hedge I put on today's down a little bit up about 5k in that account in my challenge portfolio also up around 5k I uh, just closed out my uh one to one from this morning it hit 85% so closed that out uh my 3 2 uh reduced stop and position size and they got stopped out for a profit and then had a full stop on a 3-2, my 1DTE up 17%. My current 3-2 that I'm in, reduced size, it's up about 2,200. And then my uh, that one-to-one -one that got hit my 85% profit target just re-entered right before the deadline. So I'm in a new one there. I did have another uh, price action trade that hit 20, 40, 60. And then I did have another non-bot trade that I try to do some, uh, sell some puts. Maybe started making that big push here, pulled back, tried to do some puts, got smoked out of those. That's it for me. All right. For me. Oh, let's see. Just uh, had an AM number one that I booked uh, 20%. And then I closed it out uh, before that speaker was starting. So plus 690. And then uh, I don't know if you heard about my mistake. I did not. Uh, I put on a lunchtime number one at 110. So uh, 50 minutes ago. And I'm, I was trying to like watch something on TV while I was placing the trade. And I accidentally did 20 contracts instead of 10. And and it hit profit target. Uh, I've hit twenty and forty <laughs> percent. Nice. And then I have a power hour number one that is currently on. Um, and I'm waiting for that too. I am uh, going to do. Uh, today's a neutral day, but I am going to do power hour. Got nice juicy premiums. I'm just going to do small size. Did so you do your tranche. NDX today? I did do NDX. Yep, it's nice and okay. centered. Yeah, damn, I didn't do it. Shoot, I should have. I was going to ask you. So my tranche one normal day will start to fire at 
56. So here in about 90 seconds. Four dollar strikes will be the 6540, so 25 wide. Put on a one two DTE double calendar and already took it off for over 10% same day. As opposed to, I, usually I'll leave some on, I'll take some off at 10%, but just decided to take it all off with, we, we do have PPI tomorrow morning. So the fun's not over, kids. Oh no. PPI pre-market tomorrow and one, two, three more Fed speakers and a 30-year bond auction. Uh, no, Sesha, it's a neutral day because the market's not up or down more than a half percent from the open. So it's not an up day. It's not a down day. It's a neutral day. Or normal day, I guess is what I call it. It's based on uh, where we where we open, not yesterday's close, obviously. Sorry, Chad, I don't know if I cut you off. I was just no, trying no, to make sure all. I was doing my uh, normal day power hour. Filled on tranche one. At? On the 3560s, filled at 760. Russell down three and a quarter percent. Most at max profit for my rut hedge from yesterday. Definitely the weakest of the bunch today. So I'll close that rut if it gets to the profit targets at 59.85. It's currently trading at 58. SPX getting a little downside action coming. Which is not good for the one-to-one -one I just put on. Yeah, so here's my NDX. It's sitting pretty. Yeah, I was going to message you this morning and see if you're gonna, still going to do that with the... Yeah, that's an everyday trade for numbers. me, no matter what. Regardless of numbers coming out yep. or anything? Except except FOMC, because just because okay, you, okay. Wouldn't, you won't get any decay in the morning. Right. Makes sense. My 1DTEs were up about 20% plus, maybe 25%. And then all of a sudden that down move happened, really pumped the premium into the 1D, 1DTE options for whatever reason. I mean, did on the zero days too, but decent amount because my, my 1DTE was centered, but went from up about 20% to up about 8% within a, about 10 or 15 minutes. Pretty similar spot to where it is now.
Oh, I got stopped out of my power hour number one. I didn't even notice that. Huh. That's a bummer. So here's my tranche one, sixties and thirty fives. I just did a three lot. I'm doing I'm just doing twelve hundred dollars of risk for each tranche. So pretty small. And I just got filled on my one to one in my other account at a buck fifty, eighty-five percent. That one will not re-enter because it's too late. Yeah, so tranche one, I'm going to do three lot, tranche two, four, and tranche three, two, three, three, four, two. Thought about doing more premiums, nice and juicy, but a little wacky today. A little wacky price action. Yeah, prices prices are juicy, but it's still, you know. Juicy for a reason. Yeah. Still got a uh, about a 14 point move uh expected move left. Yeah, and in the last 15 minutes it's moved about 14 points in 15 minutes, you know. So my lunchtime number one is still on. My power hour number one got stopped. Hadn't really looked at stocks today. Biggest green stock is Coinbase. Baba, NVIDIA higher. A lot of red. Rocket being the most red on my board. RH down 10%. Tesla down four. Roku down four. And Roku just never recovered after that last earnings announcement, did it? No. AMD down almost four. NVIDIA bucking the trend. Bitcoin was down, but it's a little bit green now. Energy slightly greened, every other sector red. Real estate down 4.5%.
regional banks down five and a half. Big drop in KRE pulling the Russell down. Definitely need a little bounce, especially for my challenge portfolio one-to-one -one that just went on right before we jumped on. We go down too much further. That one's going to be a full, <clears throat> excuse me, full stop. I, I would, I would just appreciate no more, no, no new lows until after PPI tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Then it can do whatever it wants. Yeah, if anybody didn't see in the Zero DTE channel, Dave S had uh, posted a kind of an alternative to the to my re-entry trades. It's um, so I I played around with that a bunch today, and um, anyway, my conclusion was I decided to change it, enter a profit target on those at eighty five percent, kept the drawdown uh, and the win rate. Everything about the same, except it increased the MAR and the uh, overall p &L. So, and it it so it'll it's not going to hit that often, but like it just did hit my one to one about ten minutes before we jumped on here. So it'll end up taking a few more trades, a little bit better metrics for the back test. Tranche one's up Well, that's that's the test that uh, Dave S um, was showing. Elliot is is a fifty percent exit, but um, it did increase the P and L overall, but it also increased the drawdown by quite a bit and lowered the mar. So for this strategy specifically, I'd prefer the higher mar, lower draw, lower drawdown. Um, so I'm keeping it, take half off at 30% and then I'll have an 85% profit target on the rest. Just my, my preference. Yeah, exactly. Which I thought I had tested that when I initially did it, but it's not a huge improvement by any means, but it adds a handful of more trades and increases the overall profit over time. There's a nice little bounce.
Sharon strikes. This is my three, two and my one to one in my challenge account. And that one to be center needs about 51, 57. My 85% profit target on the 3.2 is at 285. That one's currently trading at a little over six. Just need some more decay on that one. One DTE still hanging around about 22%. Ah, there's 60% of my lunchtime, number one. Power hour tranche two will come in at 1330. So here in about 90 seconds. Looks like that might be the same calls, 5160 calls, and maybe might be the same strikes as tranche one. Yeah, I just entered power hour number two on the 5160 and 5135s. I'll have to, I got to go, I got to go back. I was thinking about that today, Elliot. I got to go back and it seems like I remember even when volatility is higher, that neutral days still didn't perform that great, but I could be wrong on that. Oh, is that, was it 16 tomorrow? I got to, I got to, I got to figure that out because we are there. Yeah, we didn't have the up, down, or neutral then, but it seems like whenever I started doing that, it seemed like I I did the testing and it was, and I was I, I I thought I remembered kind of coming to the conclusion that neutral days just aren't great, regardless. But tranche two fired. 40s and 65s, 5140 puts, 5165 calls filled at 545. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this I think yeah, I don't know. I I got to I got to go back and dig into that a little bit. Specific to neutral days.
Well, if this thing keeps going up, that tranche two I just got in is going to get stopped. Yep. Yep, stopped. Five minutes after putting it in. About 50 cents away. That's a bummer. Need rut to stay below 2020. SPX, you need to stay below 60. Yeah, I thought the wide power hours would be good, but they have not been. The other thing about high implied volatility, obviously, it's on the way up. You know, VIX... 16, VIX 18, VIX 20, sometimes isn't that much fun. But, you know, VIX 18 on the way down from 20, really good. VIX 16 on the way down from 20, really good. Sometimes on the way up, it can be a little dicey. I was considering sitting out power hour, but I didn't. It's hard when you get 30 wide. Now, if we could just know in advance when it's peaked, right? Just if we could just get that little, uh, you know, they could ring the bell for us. Still got my VXX trade on. It's barely gone against me at this point. VXX actually has come off its highs quite a bit. We get another flush lower in stocks after PPI tomorrow. I'll definitely be jumping in some more VXX. Let's see. I have count here. Yeah, I was looking at that earlier in the in the short term ones almost at a hundred. But yeah, the two hundred fifty two day one hasn't seen this area for a long time. Well, since October. Yeah, in eight trading days, I have five full stops during power hour in April.
SPX up above 62, 63. Stopped on tranche one and two. No, not one, just two. I still have tranche one. That other fill was my three two getting stopped for profit in my challenge account. Still have my one to one. One DTE is up about 17%. Hour hour tranche three will be coming in in about two minutes. And I do that two to one puts the calls. Oh, good thing. Uh, kind of got saved by my accident. <laughs> In terms of a red day. Saved a green day? Uh, no, it's not going to be a green day, but it'll be a small red day because of it. Uh, minus $1,475 today. <clears throat> had, a, had a minus 2,900 power hour and a minus 3,600 power hour. Otherwise, it would have been a well, set out power hour. It would have been a really green day. Power hour is still your best overall, though. It has been um, in all my months, pretty sure. Except for April. And power hour on uh, last month's CPI day was really good. Two 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 big winners. Went back and looked at it. We get a nice wide tranche three coming in on the eighties and forty fives. 80s 45s filled at 560. Tranche one is only a dollar away from stop out if this thing keeps ripping.
open my eyes today, probably. <laughs> Unreal. Stopped on tranche one. So just tranche three left in this account and NDX and rut. End of day butterflies, nowhere close to being tradable. 65 strikes trading for 70 cents, maybe. Okay, interesting, Morrow. Yeah, I'll dig into that as well. Need rut back down. It's getting a little bouncy. Remaining one to one reentry is at I got filled in two different two different fills. So one's at twenty four percent, one's at twenty one. So we can just hold here for a few minutes. Could get to that thirty percent.
one DTE is up 25%. Use a little more downside as well. Let's see what we what else we got here. I sold some premium at MES today. Hundred days out. Closed another MES. So I've got two MES strangles. Still short premium in gold. Hedgehogs are rocking. This one has nine DTE, so Consider taking this one off Friday. All right, now freeze. Freeze SPX. Yeah, you think at some point it wouldn't, you know, it's not going to move 15 points in 10 minutes. All right, got 30%, so just reduced position size and reduced stop. On my re-entry. So anywhere between 50 and 65 
will work for that one. That's pretty good range. You'd think. Yeah, you'd think. My one DTE up 26%. My Tront 3 is currently at about break even. And it just feels like it wants to go back down the lows, but hope it just freezes right there. Are you still in anything? Nope. I am out of everything. Two power hour losses was enough for me. Uh says I'll check again. I thought I I thought I looked at 90, but Double check that. I looked at that at one point, Mauro, and for whatever reason decided not to do it, but there's a whole crew of people who do that. The mech, multiple entry iron condor peeps. Definitely works with TAT. That's what TAT was built for. My rut trade. Still a couple bucks away from my profit target. Twenty minutes till the bell. Ten minutes till MOC. I'll be back in just a minute. Would just love a quiet price movement, one of these power hours. One of these days we'll get it. It's very easy to revenge trade uh, when you have 30, 30 wide strikes in power hour. Very easy.
little bounce here. Can it not rip through through that consolidation area? Can it stay put? And a lot of risk in this rut if it bounces for another two hundred dollars. <laughs> might uh yeah, just take it off. Might just close her out. I mean, I can see this just ripping up. All right, out of rut. Rut, rut. Tranche three. Oh, I got to reduce my stop on tranche three. Yeah, did you get some back from this bounce? What's that? Did you get did you book profits on this bounce? Well, I don't take profits, but I'm, yeah, I'm at over 40%, which is where I reduce yeah. my stop. So I got to remember what I do here. Uh, power hour. Normal day. What is this? 10 point move in this last five minutes. Oh, I guess I don't reduce my stop on tranche three. It's just a six dollar fixed. Write it to the bill. I got a feeling this next bar is going to be. Something to behold. <laughs> All for a big next bar, huh? I mean, you wouldn't think so, but. It would not surprise me. I just got a lot of lot of nightmares of little green bars pushing up. <laughs> Just need to stay below 65. And 
and dx needs to stay below 18090. MOC number in three minutes. Yep, right back down there to 63. I like that. Yeah, just couldn't quite push through there. A little juice in these premiums for uh, 10 minutes to go. MOC in 20 seconds. All right, listening for MOC. Two forty million sell side, nothing. I like a nothing number today. Let's see if any premiums start to come out now. My one DTE will come off at 56 after I believe. Uh, yeah, 56. It's currently up 25%. Definitely going for the pin on tranche three. What's your pin? 5160? No, I've got on that one, I've got between 45 and 80. So should be good. Oh, yeah. Should keyword there. <laughs> it's coming back up. <laughs> Not really worried about that one. I'm more interested in this one here where 65 is my, I want it to go above 65.
It's one to one got filled in two different two different deals. So my eighty five percent profit targets on one of them is a buck twenty five, and that's trading at a dollar eighty. The other one's at a dollar fifty, and that's trading at three bucks. If we hold here, if the uh, 5% gain in the challenge portfolio. So just three more, day, three more days like today to make up for yesterday. Yeah, this one's just really holding on to premiums. Not giving it up. All right, there we go. One piece of my one-to-one's about to come off. Maybe. Maybe. A few more cents. No, get back down there. There we go. Two of them hit. So I've got three contracts left on my one to one. Trading at 260, profit target at a buck 50. One to or my one DTE coming off in one minute. Stay below sixty five. Keeps bumping it. Keeps getting rejected. Five. Yeah, it's getting rejected. It's been rejected four four times here. Let's keep it that way. Oh yeah. There we go. There you go. I think you're safe now. One DTE filled at 965. So how'd that one do today? Uh, right about 20%. Okay. My last piece of this one one to one ratio is at a buck eighty five. I need a dollar fifty. Yeah, it seemed like the decay was coming out nicely until it was like, it was, I think it was this little drop here right around, no, right after noon central or yeah, right around noon central. And it's like, it just pumped it back in.
You didn't get stopped out of your tranche one, Lando? I got stopped out of one and two. There it goes. Is it going to get rejected again? Let's go, Dikembe. I mean, stay below. It's a minute left. All right. I just got to close it out. Let's close that one out. So my last remaining filled at 2.30. My last remaining tranche three, the full profit. Nice little tiny size, two lots, but it's a, it's a pin. Yeah. All right, yeah. so my challenge portfolio up a little over 10K. So that's good, got a little back from yesterday. One minute to go. I am off to pick up the boys. I'll see everybody tomorrow. All righty. Take care. Peace. Tomorrow's live stream is, let's see, tomorrow is, what's tomorrow? The 11th. Yeah, so Chad in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners, and then we'll be back for Power Hour. Twenty seconds to go. Nice, Lando. Closing print for SPX fifty one sixty point five one. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.